Most of the videos here are better suited for the uh, science classroom than the music room. One idea that could be useful to the guitarist is the musical intervals, the octave, perfect fifth, perfect fourth, the major and minor thirds. Uh, they can all be defined as the ratio of the high frequency note over the low frequency note. And on the guitar, it's always a multiple of the twelfth root of two, which approximates the uh, perfect or just intervals which derive from the way the string uh, transfers its energy to the guitar. The reason for that is that the perfect fifth sounds good, but multiples of it won't quite add up to any multiple of the octave. You have to use different frequencies for each note going up and down the scale. Now, singers and the violinists and such uh, actually do that, but on the guitar, it uh, pretty much seems to complicate things requiring too many frets. So, on the guitar, you reduce the size of the uh, perfect fifth by a very small amount. And now every note on the guitar is separated from every other note on the guitar by a multiple of the twelfth root of two. Uh, things are a lot simpler for the guitarist and probably for the listener as well. Some purists don't like it and there are other ways of making music, but there is no perfect solution. You harmonize the sound wave the best way you can and enjoy the music. The mathematical analysis doesn't help much when you're on stage and everything has to sound good in the context of that particular performance. The audience wants to hear your best efforts on whatever instrument you're playing.